Hey everyone, today we're just going to take a quick look at how to clean your filters. Uh, lots of people will just buy a new pad and put a new pad inside their filters, whether it's an underwater filter or hang on back or whatever it may be. Uh, but with biological filtration, if your filter is your only means of biological filtration, replacing that pad essentially gets rid of all the good bacteria and it kind of starts your tank over. The best way to uh, change your filter is to just clean them out usually. So what I'll go ahead and do is, and you can't clean them with the uh, tap water, that'll kill off the bacteria. So what you'll want to do is get a like a jug or a bucket of some type. Get a little bit of clean tank water in there. Just put that aside. And then we'll go ahead. I've already unplugged my filter just so it doesn't shoot around right now. And actually I gotta use two hands real quick. But I'm just gonna be getting the filter in two parts here. Right, or do I pull it off the bottom? I think this one actually might pull off the bottom. It's stuck though. I'm just gonna take off the whole thing. It does come out the bottom though. This one's pretty dirty. It's so dirty I can't get it out of there. What I'm going to do actually is just take it to the bathroom and work on it there. Put the uh, whole filter into the thing here. And I'll take that. This way it won't drip. disgusting. Put them into this water. And now they're just in this tub. And I'm just going to kind of squish them around in here to get most of the uh, junk off them. Probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just squishing those around in there. And then while I do that, you can wear a glove if you're worried about you know, dirtiness, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, plastic parts, like I said then, you can just rinse off with water. Don't have to get them perfect, you just don't want them to be clogged up with anything. do then is just put the filter pads back in once they're pretty clean. As you can see it looks way better. Now this one I've used a lot so it's just kind of stained a little bit. It used to be white of course but it's plenty clean for uh, particles to and the water to go through and particles still to get stuck in there. So don't clean that under regular tap water at all. That's how you kind of want to clean your filters. You don't want to clean off the actual filter pad if you're going to reuse it. 
Some of those hang on back filters you have to replace them sometimes, but some of them give you the option of using two filter pads. Lots of the newer ones have the option of dual filter pads. And uh, if you have the option of having two filter pads in your single hang on back filter, just change one at a time. And then uh, you'll always have some beneficial bacteria there because you're only changing one at a time. So that's a good way to do it too. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys so you know a little bit more about how to change your filter or keep your bacteria, the good bacteria on there. So uh, happy fish keeping and see you guys later.